Hi friends, the other day I was over at um, Gardening Tips with Phil and he made a video about the self-watering soda bottles and how he was disappointed with um, some of the results, especially the ones that used to wick. And um, I told him I would make a video of how I do it with the batting. This is just kind of stuffing you buy at the craft store or local store that you would stuff a pillow or something with. You just take a little bit of it and um, there's plenty of videos on how to make these containers. You're basically taking and cutting the bottom off and um, using, flipping it over and using the top. Um, and then I've seen where they take the lids and turn them over and poke a hole in them and try to wick through like that. I didn't have any good results with it like that. I also saw where um, they <coughs> poke holes around the side for the water to drain out and um, I prefer to just leave them solid and I just take the cotton batting or poly this is actually polyester batting and you put it in like this sometimes if you know the more moisture you want in the more batting that you want in sometimes I'll do batting like this if I want more um, moisture in the container and then you just take soil and I'm gonna do the one with less right now you just take the soil and pour it in on top and then the water um, in the base here will wick up into it. Um, I cut this base a little short where, um, see how it wobbles like this? Um, when you do it like this, it gives you more room to just pour water in from a pitcher. Where when you do it like this, it's still a little bit unstable when you put the wick in. This is a 2 liter and that's a 3 liter. That's why the hole in this one is a little bit shorter and a little bit harder to get in. But see how I've got the little fuzzy on the end here? Once you put it in, you know, it wobbles a little bit. It's okay. I found um, with the container up here, I've got the base cut higher. And um, when you do it like that, you don't have airflow coming in the side of the container here. So then you've got a great deal of moisture building up on there. And, um, it, you know, the, what do you call it, plant that I have in this container right here, you can't get them too separated without a lot of stress. So um, it's a lot better to have the wiggle than to have uh, you know, permanent container like this. What I'm going to do is cut a hole out in the side here where I can put a funnel in and ex excess the, put in water into it that way. It, um, this container also um, is, I use these for temporary, like I would start my tomato plants and seeds out in a container like this and in the bottom of those, I use a little cotton batting. And then when they get a little bit bigger, I would go to the 16 ounce size. And again, I would have the um, polyester batting in the bottom and then soil put on top. And what I'm finding too from using coconut core, coconut core doesn't retain the moisture level at the top. Um, the wa moisture level seems to, you know, dry out really um, fast at the top. Even though the soil is maintaining moisture down here, if your seedling or plant, um, what do you call it, is only in the top inch or two, you're risking its life with cocoa core. So I'm gonna go back to um, peat moss with vermiculite for my seed starting and mix in some of this with it, you know, to use it up but I'm going to give up probably on cocoa core. But um, if you go over, I'll put a link, you know, right down here to um, Garden Tips with Phil. He's got some really interesting things going on. He took and um, 
filled up his bottle with 60-75% um, sand and then the rest with the potting soil or garden soil whatever you're using and he um, I've not tried that so I'm gonna give that a shot and see how it works thanks for the tip Phil I appreciate it but I'm gonna do start doing a series I think on self-watering containers um, the next you know in order to keep these short the next um, video that I'll be uploading will be um, showing you um, how I use aluminum foil to um, help with the plants. So stay tuned to the next video. Thanks for watching.